2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Travellers' Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this week we're at TPC River Highlands in Connecticut. This golf course is a fun one and a birdie fest. What's your thoughts? If you don't make birdies early and often around this layout, Luke, you are falling behind quickly. Players who are aggressive historically play this golf course very well. They must take the lid off early and start pouring in putts early and often. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Second shot here on the first. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. That goes down for an eagle. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. What an amazing shot. Let's take another look at that one. Perfect distance, perfectly judged. And look at that, straight in the hole. Currently a couple under for the round. The second, a short par four playing up the hill, just 345 yards. How aggressive do you want to be? Do you want to take driver out and try and get it up to the front edge or are you going to lay it back with a long iron? That are the two thoughts that players must face. Second shot into a minuscule green with a putt bunker on the left-hand side that could be the meanest one on the golf course. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we are checking in down here with Justin Rose as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Oh, almost went in. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. And here we are with the third shot. That will work. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. That's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. The players will face themselves with their first legitimate test at TPC River Highlands, the par four third. Dog leg from right to left. Just avoid those bunkers both right and left. And there's not a single one up there on that green. This green is fairly flat. 
with runoffs on all sides of this screen. It's a wonderful design. That was wonderfully done. Second shot here on the third. Handy effort, that one. This one's for birdie. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Currently at minus four for the round. A long par four, this hole. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Had a fantastic drive. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Yikes! That was brilliant. Didn't even think you'd get on the green from there. Here's Ricky Fowler from earlier. Good look here for a second shot. Incredible shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Good look at Birdie here. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. And with that, he'll move to five under par. And stepping up the standings after that effort. The par three fifth is no snack either, particularly at the distance of 230. That's its only defense here, Luke. The green is fairly flat, has a couple of bunkers up there surrounding it. But to be fair, at 230 yards, it's a pretty simple, straightforward, long par three. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. Well, these are certainly shot savers. What about this long range putt? Solid putt, that. Let's return to live play now. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Come on, don't be shy. Ah, that's frustrating. A par part awaits. Now seven shots behind after that. The sixth is the first of our par fives, and at 586, playing slightly downhill, Rich, players should be enticed to go for this green in two. Most players in this field will be looking to knock it on in two. Tee shots want to favor the right-hand side to shorten up the hole ever so slightly. The second shot will be semi-blind, taking it over some bunkers and some mounds to a green that runs from right to left. Bunker front left and a runoff area over on the right-hand side. Shouldn't be too much of a bother for most of these players. Yeah, this is the stuff we love, getting after this par five and two. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. A great opportunity here. This for Eagle. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And that will take him to seven under. 
And it's time to recap that play. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. currently at seven under for the tournament. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The par four seventh, just under 450 yards in length, Rich. Two just accurate shots needed here. Just a straightaway drive and a straightaway second shot. We'll get it done eight days a week on this hole. The second shot though, into a green that has two tiers on it. If you're not on the correct tier in two, you're going to face a difficult putt. Yeah, that one will play. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? And from about 105 yards, over 300 yards from the tee as well. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Four feet to the cup. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. I really like the eighth here at TPC River Highlands. A good par three. This is a strong par three. Water shouldn't come into play as it's some 15 yards short of the green. However, there's runoff areas both right and left that could cause some issues for these players. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Tiger Woods, he's still got it, doesn't he? That's a shot and a half. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Gotta like it, two in a row, he's feeling it. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. The ninth is a par four, right on 400 yards, Rich, but recently players have been a little bit more aggressive off the tee. Players are trying to take all the bunkers in the fairway out of play by taking driver and hitting it over the right-hand one. From there, players will have a very simple second shot to a green that's fairly bland, Luke. There's just not much to it. This is a great birdie opportunity. Playing from around 110 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Looking better. And that will drop in for Birdie. And what a way to jump into the top 10. Time to check in with Lydia Ko. This is how you do it seven days a week. Wonderful effort. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The second nine starts with a great par four, this 10th hole, and really features a big tree off the tee. I love this tee shot. It is 
narrow. You have to thread a bunch of trees. This is a great opportunity to tee that driver up low and chase it down that fairway. Second shot downhill ever so slightly to a green that chases away from you. What a wonderful, wonderful hole. Not bad. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Four shots behind our leader. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Lining up the birdie putt here. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. That was a top-level approach shot, but unfortunately, they walk off the green with a par. Now fall back after that hole. Downhill par threes, Rich. Lots of fun to play, particularly when it's only a wedge. Yes, but be careful from the wind. This green is surrounded by large trees, and that wind can really swirl around this green. It's a good opportunity to make birdie, but bogeys might happen if you're not careful. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Let's have a look at this highlight. Third shot now. Nice putt to make that one. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Rich the 12th, the par four, measuring just over 400 yards. How do you play it? Grip it and rip it. Those fairway bunkers down the right-hand side, they are really not a big bother. So try and take those on as best you can. The further you drive it down there, their second shot becomes so much easier as the screen is perched above you. Again, another good birdie opportunity here. That's some good golf right there. Let's head to the 15th for another highlight. I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Nicely hold. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. You like that, didn't you? And this part to move into the top five. That's pretty tidy. And that's eight birdies today. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. He's in a share of fifth position. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Well, birdies would certainly be on the mind of the players when they stand on the tee at the par 5 13th, Rich. But there are bogeys here as well if you're not careful. Don't get careless with this tee shot. Don't avoid the water on the right and try and hit it down the left-hand side because out of bounds comes in quickly, just left of those fairway bunkers. From the fairway, you have to decide where you want to go for it or lay it up out to the right. Any shots missed out to the right will leave a delicate chip to a green that runs away from the player towards the water. That might be one club too many. Oh my goodness. That was bang on target.
That was a beauty. And this punt for a share of the lead. What a nice line. Wonderful shot. Currently 14 under for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Let's head to the 14th, Rich, a short par four, but you gotta hit your tee shot up the hill. Up the hill, dog leg from right to left, but one of the most generous fairways on this golf course, if not the most generous. Anything up to the right-hand side will open up the second shot to the green that sits well below you. Any tee shots missed over to the left, however, you could have some tree issues. Nicely done. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. That was a beauty. Right against the hole. So lightning does strike twice? Can't believe this, Luke. Again today. Simply absurd. What did this guy do this morning? Man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with John Rahm as he gets set for his next shot here on the 15th. Come on, ball, don't deny him. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. TPC River Highlands has a number of gettable holes, but how fascinating is this drivable par 4 15th? This hole is feast or famine for most players. Any tee shot that is missed a little bit to the left will go chasing into the water. Any tee shots that are bailed out to the right, now you've got a difficult proposition you're faced with. You have to hit a pitch shot, a delicate pitch shot, to a green that sits well above you, but also runs away from you towards the water. What a par four this is indeed. Lovely effort that. Second shot here on the 15th. Oh, can you believe it? That's remarkable. Love it. Nicely hold for Eagle. And let's have another look at that one. Yeah, Sevy would be envious of this one. What a chip in. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. The final par three at TPC River Highlands certainly brings a lot of elements into play. Multiple tiers on this green. If you find the right tier, you have a good Bernie opportunity. But if you hit a wayward shot, both right, left, long, or let's face it, short, you're in a bad spot. Unbelievable. I got to say, Luke, hole-in-ones are rare, but getting to watch one on TV, yes! Luke, love it. Let's take another look. I mean, what can you say about a shot like this? This was absolute perfection.
Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, there's a scorecard saver, Rich. That's perfection. OK, let's get back to the action. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Well, this lake that is a real feature here in the closing holes of TPC River Highlands comes into play also off the tee at 17. The most intimidating shot on the golf course, the tee shot here at 17. Bail left, you could find the bunkers. And if you bail right, you better bring your waders. Well, well played. Here's a look at John Rahm from earlier. Risky little bunker shot, but watch this. Oh, that's lovely touch. The hands of a surgeon. Second shot here on the 17th. That should find the surface. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Now, five shots up after that hole. Now on the tee of a long par four. Tee shot should be favored down the right-hand side. The first fairway bunker over on the right is really no bother for all the players. The one on the left can collect a few errant tee shots. Second shot back up the hill ever so slightly to a green that's just begging, begging for you to go flag hunting. That dog will hunt. This shot from 120 yards. This one might need to get down a little. Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.